Hey there, 788ers. Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. During the weekend of February 16th and 17th, 2019, I and Susan, also known as Mrs. HCC, and our youngest daughter, Audrey, also known as Beelzebub, I took a trip to Dallas, Texas. While there, it was our privilege to visit Dallas Vintage Toys. I had been wanting to visit the store for quite some time, so we finally made it out there. Thanks to John, who is known as JJ's Toy Room on Twitter, for the invite. I tried to get as much video of the inventory of the store as I could. Uh, the store is jam-packed with vintage toys from about every toy line you can think of. There is really too much there to describe it all, so I'll just let you absorb it. You may see some toys that you recognize. Of course, they've got some G.I. Joe stuff, and that's mainly what I was there looking for. But of course, that's not all they have. They also have plenty of vintage Kenner Star Wars and Transformers, of course, and they have some more recent toys as well. In addition to the brick and mortar store, they also have an online store. They showed me their back room where they have a lot of their online inventory as well as their parts junkyard where they piece together vintage parts to make complete sets. I didn't get pictures or video of their back room because they didn't specifically give me permission to do that, but it was really cool to see. I was fascinated by all the vintage toy airplanes and helicopters and spaceships hanging from the ceiling. I love that stuff. I was fortunate to meet a viewer of the show and his daughter at the store, and I apologize for not getting a picture. I don't know why I don't get pictures of these things. So I apologize to the viewer for not getting a picture with you. I really should have. Thank you for coming out and saying hi. That really made my day. I did get video of what they call their vault, where they have an amazing amount of graded vintage items. By far the most graded items I've ever seen in one place. Just look at all of these graded action figures and vehicles and playsets. Uh, some carded and boxed and some loose. It would be impressive to have these just ungraded and loose, let alone graded. So yeah, soak in all of the incredibly rare high-grade toys. But as impressive as these graded items are, my personal collection doesn't go toward graded stuff. It goes to vintage G.I. Joe action figures and vehicles, and JJ's Toys Room showed me something special. He has a complete gold head steel brigade action figure. This is one of the rarest vintage G.I. Joe figures, if not the rarest. Very hard to find, and this one is in fantastic shape. Uh, that gold paint is about flawless. 
It was so cool, I had to get pictures of it. I also had to get a picture of myself with it. And it was so amazing, everyone else wanted a picture with it too. Sean, the owner of the store, unfortunately wasn't there at the time. I'll have to swing by sometime when I can say hi to him. But thanks to John Arandado, Ryan Wilhelm, and Trevor Duke for your hospitality. It was great to meet you guys. I really enjoyed the trip out to Dallas Vintage Toys. Thank you to the staff out there for the warm welcome. I did pick up something for myself, and JJ's Toys Room also gave me something. Uh, these are things that you may see in videos in the near future. So, yeah, I had a great time. And if you're in the Dallas area and you like vintage toys, this is not one to miss. This is Hooded Cobra Commander 788 signing off. I'll see you again soon.